Hello again. In today's episode, I have a nifty gun, a little blue alien, some elves, and tight white underpants. I'm your host, Josh, and it's time for Free Play. Welcome back to Free Play, bringing you the very finest games that money can't buy. Every single game I review on the show can be played for absolutely free, and I leave links to all of them down below the video. As always, I don't promise that every game here is awesome, but each one does have something fun or interesting to offer, so let's get started. Red Trigger Red Trigger is a first-person puzzle game that can most easily be compared to Portal and Antichamber. Your gun isn't for shooting enemies, but rather for shooting red blocks to move them around and manipulate the environment. None of the puzzles are too difficult, although a couple are pretty inventive, and although the graphical design is very simple, I like its sleek, clean, futuristic look. One problem I had with the game is its physics engine. There are a few puzzles that require you to fling yourself through the air, and doing so often felt floaty or would send me flying away in random directions. If you can put up with that though, this is a pretty decent game. As I played, I couldn't help thinking that it would be especially well suited for speedrunners, and sure enough, the fastest playthrough video I found was 3 minutes and 59.91 seconds. Good luck beating that. Super Blue Boy Planet Some games are just simple and comforting, the digital equivalent of mac and cheese. Super Blue Boy Planet is that sort of game. It's a pretty by-the-numbers platformer that doesn't bring much new to the table, but what it does, it does well. It took me only half an hour to hop the little blue alien through its 21 levels, avoiding spikes and pits and popping enemies on the head, but a game like this needn't last a long time. One thing that does stand out about this game, though, is its soundtrack. Judging from the graphics, one might expect techno or dubstep, but the music here is more organic, leaning towards soft rock with elements of world and folk. If you're looking for something lightweight and relaxing, you can't really go wrong with this one. Lost Lands Mahjong It's weird to admit that even though Mahjong is essentially a tabletop game, developed, if my research is correct, in the late 1800s and early 1900s, I've only ever played it on a computer screen. It has, of course, had multiple iterations, and I assume most of you are familiar with it. If you're not, it's basically a matching game. Clear tiles away to unlock new tiles and then clear them away. This is a pretty fun iteration with a bit of a time attack element. There is some sort of story here about elves that need to save the world by playing Mahjong for some reason, but whatever, it's not important. There are also other little puzzles to do from time to time. The whole thing is very zen and peaceful, and even though the story didn't do anything for me, the elf theme works. For some reason, I can totally imagine the elves in Rivendell hanging out and playing Mahjong. Brief Karate Foolish So this exists. If you've ever played Street Fighter and found yourself wishing it featured more out-of-shape dudes in their underwear, then this is the game for you. Honestly, this is far better made and far more fun than it has any right to be. And the mere fact that it's as playable as it is shows that the developers put a lot of work into it. This is a fully functional fighting game. Each character has a unique combo-based moveset. It's totally absurd, and every aspect of the game embraces an anarchic glee that flies in the face of logic. It's amusing enough in single-player arcade mode, but for real fun, grab a friend, hook up a second controller, and go head-to-head. -head. My cousin Derek was over the other night, and when we played this, we laughed till we cried. 
If you have an immature sense of humor and a taste for games that do not take themselves seriously at all, Greek Karate Foolish is a total hoot. As I mentioned before, you can check out all of these games by clicking the links below. I also want to give a quick shout out to my cousin Derek, who I just mentioned in the previous review. He's a guitarist and a songwriter who actually wrote the theme music for this show. Follow the link to his YouTube channel and give more of his music a listen. Now I have a lot more free games to share with you, so be sure to subscribe to my videos so that you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Now you're free, so go play. <laughs>